Pisces, welcome to my Prime Moon Child, my name is Kaylee. This is your weekly read for the, well it's for the first week of March as I'm filming this, but it's whenever you find it really, the next week coming. Um, yeah, all the normal house kingpin stuff like decks and stuff are all down below, how to book a read, that sort of thing is all down there. Uh, let's have a look, what have we got for Pisces this week, what have we got for Pisces? Three of pentacles so this is all about building up your strength building up your core making sure you have stable foundations i'm very wary that there's a, sh a frog on on the on her shoulder like the princess and the frog like they made a promise didn't they that if he helped her get her ball back that or the ball in the pond i think that was what i remember from my hans christian anderson book that she would give him a kiss and then obviously he turned into a prince or whatever that wasn't the best beginning <laughs> that that wasn't the best beginning for a relationship i know it's a fairy tale but that wasn't the best beginning because that was she did that without intending to actually follow through she just wanted her ball back from the pond and didn't intend to follow through with the kiss i can't remember the ins and outs of the story i know she did eventually and he turned into a turn into a prince but um yeah so be really sure what you're investing in at the moment um i don't know if you've started a relationship or thinking about starting a relationship but take it nice and slow and make sure you know the person that you're dealing with um because yeah it's um you've been through the wars pisces you've been through the wars you've got the nine of wands there followed by the ten of wands um and the nine of wands is like, do I go in one more time? And the ten of wands is like, just overburdened. And you're really wary to go in again for a relationship. I'm really getting relationship because um, you're really wary to go in again. You don't trust someone. You don't. You're trying to find out the truth to know whether it is investing in this person because you've been hurt so much before. And to be honest, Pisces, I'm really getting that you're still kind of carrying some baggage there to do with that. Proper heavy baggage, heavy emotions. Emotional baggage, not... Well, I'm not really getting much... Do you know what I mean? There's, there's stuff hanging from the previous relationship that's just hanging over you, which means you can't really fully invest yourself. And maybe that's why you're kind of accepting less. Or you're not worried about, um, because you've got so much baggage, you're worried that no one will take you. So you're kind of thinking about accepting something less than you're worth. So that's why I'm saying maybe be very aware of who you're building up a future with. Don't invest yourself too quickly, too warmly. Just because you've got baggage doesn't mean that um, that they're worth trying to attach yourself to i've got the knight of wands coming in which if you're looking for a hookup then this is a great person to have a hookup with by all means but um this is non-committal energy this is quick in quick out uh pleasing themselves they know very much what they want this is like the booty call card for me um they will come in fly in fly out there is no commitment there don't get me wrong i think you see that there could be something there but um I'm not seeing that it's going to be. I really want to do happy reads and it's just like the whoever this is they're not worth investing major energy into. I'm really getting that. King of Swords, yep. Yeah. Keep your guard up a little bit. Make wise decisions. Make sure you thoroughly get to know them before you make any big decisions or move too quickly. Although the King of the Swords energy is quick, the King of Swords is not quick takes us time to make a decision don't be pressurized into making a decision into something only do it if you're ready and you know it's going to benefit you and your kingdom and i'm getting kingdom because i think you've got kids but um yeah and somebody's wearing a mask they're not who they seem somebody is not who they seem and you know that because you're already getting anxiety vibes and you think it's because you think you're not good enough, but you're not, you're not, you think it's anxiety because it's somebody new and you kind of like, because it ended so badly last time that you're wary of this one. Um, your anxiety's up because you know something's wrong. It's not, you're not being silly. Don't belittle yourself and demean your feelings. They're valid feelings and there's a reason you know something, you know there's something to worry about with this person. 
Oh, you're the empress. You are the empress. And you're worthy of an emperor. The emperor's underneath. You're an empress looking for your emperor. And you're looking to commit to them. You will know when it's your person. You will know when this person comes in. The person that you're with now is not that person. Or the person you're considering now is not that person. Is not your the emperor to your empress or the empress to your emperor, whatever whatever way you see the the two of you, that's that's not them. Your person will come in and you'll know. You won't even have to think about it. You'll just know that it's time to take that leap. Because you know it's right, your gut. Right now you're still healing from stuff. You're still healing. You Somebody hurt you because they made you undermine your own gut feelings. You knew something was wrong with them and they kept lying and saying that there wasn't and there was. <laughs> And now you're like almost scared to be alone and it's okay to be alone. Do you know what I mean? It's better to be alone than to go back down with masks and red flags again. And you're getting anxious about this person and that's your gut telling you that there's something wrong. But because you've got yourself in such a low state with your um, from the past relationship, you don't trust your gut anymore. <laughs> You don't know which way is up. You don't know what it is. Your anxiety is kicking up because it knows something that you may not consciously even be aware of. Somebody's wearing a mask. Somebody's coming in for you that is the right person for you. Not right now. You've got a bit of work and learning to do. But you will know who they are. You'll know who the person you're supposed to be with is because you'll know to take that leap. Right now it's time to be on your own and good on your own. To the point where you are comfortable on your own, actually. Like, you can, I think you manage materially on your own anyway. That's why you're looking for love. But you've still got work to do on yourself to be ready emotionally for someone else. You know, if you're going to go in again, it has to be worth the effort. So you kind of have to be protective of your own energy. And your own heart. And your own interests. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. You know, if you're going to be bold, then you you need to know the investment and the energy's worth it. And um, this person isn't that you're considering at the moment or thinking about at the moment. That's or maybe even seeing or sleeping with right now. They're not these. They're not your other half. They're not your equal. They're not your. They're not the person you're supposed to commit to long term. For now, it's just enjoying your own time. If you want to have a hookup with this person and have sex, that's fine. But please don't get emotionally invested until you know what's on the other side of that mask. Because there's something there and that's why your anxiety is kicking up. You know something's not right. You know that's not right. So right now, it's time to be okay on your own. Nine of Pentacles. You've got everything you need emotion uh, materially, physically. Maybe you're looking at moving house. Do you know what I mean? Like that's like the main thing you've got to focus on. You've got other things to focus your energy on right now that you need to focus on rather than another person. So that you are good on your own. Let's see what you've got in. I've got the Inner Star Oracle deck. Let's see what we've got for you. What have we got for you for Pisces? Express your truth. Express your truth. If it's not right and you know it's not right, just tell them you know it's, it doesn't feel right. It's not right. It's not true. You, you've you doubted your gut and your better knowledge so much that you kind of need to listen to it and say it out loud. And I think as you say it out loud, you'll, you'll realise, oh yeah, no, no, I am right. Or you'll say something and it'll come out and you'll be like, where did that come from? That didn't come from my head. And it's like, it's like when I get these messages sometimes. I don't know where that came from. It's my, it's your higher, higher consciousness that's going, nope. And that's why your gut reacts because that's your higher power, higher senses tapping in. I wish that was like, yeah, you're with the right person, Pisces, and everything's going to be great. But you, I don't read messages that are going to tell you that everything's okay. I tell you what you need to know. And right now, that's not your person. Sorry, Pisces. That's not your person that you're with right now or considering right now. You will know your person. You won't even have to come here to have a look to see if it's your person because you will know and you'll know to take the leap. You won't. You'll just know. 
Um, I really hope that's been of some use to you, if not positive, <laughs> completely positive. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's helped in some way. Um, and I should see you again next week for the next read, hopefully. Bye for now.